guys, welcome back to another episode uh, here in the Kingdom of Dash. Uh, I believe this is episode 6, and today we are going to be fighting the Wither. I'm just getting a couple of levels here, or just one level, really. i got to finish off level 24 uh, to finish off our sword. There we go. Let's break through here. There we go, just like so. Uh, I need 24 levels to add this to make it Smite 5 along with Looting 3 and everything else. And this is going to be our Wither Killing Sword. So yeah, let's run in here and do this real quick, and then we will be all ready to fight the Wither. Smite 5, I'm breaking 3, Looting 3, not back 2, Fire Aspect 2. Uh, all, really, all we're missing is, um, wait, do we have Unbreaking 3? Yeah, we have Unbreaking 3, so what are we missing? Ah, Sweeping Edge, but that's okay. It's just really for the Wither. And I guess you could say other undead mobs, but we're making it for the Wither. That's what we're going to use it for. As you can tell, I've got the three skulls. Took me a while to get them all. Uh... But yeah, uh, we are going to go fight the Wither now. So, I'm going to get prepared, and then I will meet you guys where we're going to fight it. Alright guys, so uh, I've prepared us a little hole. This is the best way, in my opinion, to fight the Wither. And we're doing it. And I totally did not even mean to do that just then, but I did it. I've got milk buckets, instant healing pots, and uh, yeah, hopefully we don't die. So yeah, let's do this. Backing up. Alright, going in now. Did I kill it? I think I killed it. Okay. And we're still full hearts. Yeah, okay. Whew, my heart is beating so hard. Didn't even need to. I didn't even get withered. That thing is insane. Oh my gosh, wait. Ah, oh, I don't think you can get withered in easy mode. Ah, oh, I've been playing in easy mode. Crap. Well, I promise you guys we will fight another wither within like 10 episodes. It took a long time to get those skulls, uh, but I promise we will fight another wither on normal or hard mode because uh, I feel like that was cheaty. Jeez, okay. Well, I'm going to go up now and uh, we are going to get working on what we're actually doing this episode which is constructing a mob farm we need the nether star for a haste too big because it's going to be underground so it isn't so big and ugly so yeah uh, i'm gonna get working on that and i will see you guys in a bit all right guys i thought i would make the beacon on camera so i think that's how you do it yep boom beacon and uh, i've acquired i think that's enough iron so yeah there we've got our stuff so now let's break this and uh, I don't really have a spot to actually put it. You know, where you have a building for everything. I don't have a building. I've got these two buildings over here. But one of them is going to be storage for, like, end stuff. And one of them is storage for another stuff is what the plan was. So I'm going to have to build another one. Uh, probably I'll do it, like, right here. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then uh, we'll be back. All right, we've got the building made. We're going to be using this one as our mob farm uh entrance to go on down as you can tell there's nothing here there really won't be anything here there might be like five blocks uh of interior up here and then just a staircase we'll probably start the staircase like here start going down like there's literally going to be nothing here so yeah uh i'm gonna get working on digging i guess now so i'll see you guys in a bit all right i have done so much work i've probably been working 10 plus hours on this uh not only have I dug all of this out to up there, I broke the surface. I'm not sure exactly how much room I need. I'm going to put in as many levels as I can, uh, but they can't start until right there because uh, essentially, yeah, even if it was lower, they could die, but witches could just throw a fire resistance pot and then they'll pile up. So that's the height that the witches need to be to die uh, every single time and they won't get armor and stuff, so... Uh, that's pretty much what we've gone for. Uh, Height-wise, I got like so like much stone and resources that we're gonna use on the castle. Uh, yeah, pretty much have like yeah just two empty boxes. Uh, so pretty much all of it filled up, and then uh, eventually I just started letting stuff despawn. Uh, I have got in all the lower part. There's like water channels and stuff under there that took so long to do, um, and then I've got just water flowing, and then. Uh, I had to go, there's a, 
there's an ice biome. I think if my direction's right that way. Let me see. Yeah, northeast. Uh, there's like a snowy plains biome, and I just still touched some ice, and then got compressed ice from that. I just crafted it uh, with a three by three. Uh, so yeah, I got some ice down in there uh, and stuff that will be useful like for scooting it uh, so that the water doesn't have to go down a block and then I've also got it uh, with a dropper elevator here let me see if I can give an example uh, my cues messed up uh, I missed it missed it again there okay you'll hear it I think oh yep yeah, you just heard it oh and there it is sweet uh, so yeah, I think they're gonna prioritize the bottom middle, and then they'll probably fill up the this row first, and then these two rows, and then these two rows. It's just weird how I had it, because the hopper comes in in the middle, and then the water spreads. It's weird how it's done, but it works, and uh, I'm not going for anything fancy. I just need something that works right now, so yeah. Uh, but I did clean up the walls, at least uh, as much as you can see. I don't think this wall is cleaned up, uh, but these three are. Uh, for sure so yeah uh, and then uh, I want to decorate this area a bit as well so uh, I'm gonna start working on all the pads and stuff and get the redstone in uh, I think I have to get some more nether quartz I don't know if that's gonna be enough plus what I already have uh, but I'll fortune three that and uh, we'll see because I need observers and I think those take nether quartz as well as I think comparators do as well or something like that I don't know I never craft redstone stuff and uh seems i need to get some more fish as well so uh i'm gonna keep working uh this thing has been a huge help though uh but yeah i'll see you guys hopefully once all the spawning pads are in and uh, i've closed the top off and this thing is actually running all right guys that's it the farm is operating as it should uh the rates are slow right now but i think that they will pick up i i actually have to for it to work properly i have to go up uh, above the ground to an AFK spot. Uh, here, real quick, let me put some blocks back so I can kind of show you what we got. That's that's it. Uh, I only did eight layers versus like the recommended twenty uh, because I would have broke ground. Um, so yeah, it's definitely going to be slower, but I think it'll be enough. So uh, what we need to do now is just pretty this place up, finish off this wall, and uh, yeah. It'll be pretty awesome. So uh, I'm going to get to work on that. And then I'll show you guys uh, once I've got some progress on pretty enough this little room area. All right. Uh, I have pretty much finished everything up. Wow. Okay. Are all of these running that well? That is awesome. These things are running amazingly. Let's check some more of them just to make sure they're all doing okay. That one's pretty slow. Maybe that isn't getting enough light, that one. Or maybe I'd, I did make these up here after I made those. So that could be it as well. But yeah, they're all running really well. So that's nice to see. Um, I'm just grabbing like our block palette for the flooring uh, that we've been doing uh, to do the floor down in here. And I will show you guys what it looks like as our final product. Uh, but we have one more thing to do this episode. It's a pretty short episode as of now. I've been editing as I go along. Sorry, a couple clips back I had a little bit of a mic peak uh, issue. It should be fixed now though. Um, but yeah, the building that's right next to this one up top, we're going to have a, a the one tick sugarcane farm. If that's still a thing, I'm not exactly sure. I need to look it up. Uh, but if it is, we're going to be building uh, one of those. That does not go there. That goes there. Oh uh, yeah, but this is what I came up with. Very basic, but adds a little bit of color. I think it looks nice. So this is what we're going for for the interior. If I ever need it, I'll have more chests here, but I doubt it. Uh, oh, wow. That's cool. It, like, reflects it. I didn't even know it ever did that. Okay. But, yeah. Let's see what we're doing here. Let's go brown concrete. And let's get the wool in here. Just like so. Let's go... Hmm... Let's do this on those I like doing that we'll do powder like that just like that and then we'll fill in these corners like that 
that's like that. We can do this like that. Same here as well. What can we do outside that? Let's go. Let's go with brown wool. There and here. And then we will finish it off with our spruce planks, just like so. There. Looks good. It's nice. It's got enough difference in it, but it is a pattern, uh, kind of. So, yeah, I like that. I mean, really, the only difference is this is two versus this is one. But, yeah, I like it. Okay. Uh, that's it for this part. Um... I will AFK here probably between next episode, this episode and next episode, uh, and we will see what it's like. But just here decorating this, we got 42 gunpowder, which is really what I made the farm for, plus all this other stuff. And uh, we even got some witches spawning and an enderman, which I thought was funny because they're two blocks high, uh, other than I think the last one is an enderman could technically spawn there, but I don't know how that would work because they just teleport away with the water so i don't know how we got into pearl there but uh yeah we're gonna turn this building into the one tick or one pulse sugarcane farm so let me get what i need to do that and i'll decorate this building up and i will come back all right that's it guys i've fully constructed it it works i'm gonna turn it on just for a second because it's very loud and there you go it works pretty awesome um uh, i just did a little small design in here another small room and uh yeah i'm gonna leave this over running overnight as long with uh the mob farm so yeah hopefully we will get a bunch of drops from that and uh, i will update you guys on uh, how these farms are doing uh at the beginning of the next episode uh the sheep farm like we checked last clip is doing amazingly so that's awesome uh, but yeah, that's it for me for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you really enjoyed it, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe. And as always, my name is Dash. Thanks for watching.